Hey everyone, uh, Lathan here, and it's been a while. It's been a long while, a couple months since I've done one of these videos. Uh, yes, this is a transition update. Hello, hi, if you're new to this channel, you can go back and watch one of my other transition update videos. I'll post a linky up here. Uh, and if you want to learn how to breathe in a binder, uh, there will be another link somewhere around here. And I'll have links down in the description below for those. <laughs> so we're just gonna talk about what's happened so far in my journey. So anyway, uh, last video I believe I came out as being trans non-binary. And uh, it's frustrating. Very frustrating. Um, mainly the social aspect, like when I'm at work. Uh, because people are still using the wrong pronouns. It, I, I'd be fine if they used he, him. I'm completely fine with he, him. It's the fact that I keep being misgendered as she, her, and I'm like... Nope. And I'm not a confrontational person. I don't like confrontation. I don't like correcting people on things because it's like if you correct them, they'll get angry and they'll get belligerent, I believe is the word I'm looking for. Uh, so, uh, uh, so I, I really don't, don't like to correct people, but I'm working towards it. So far I've corrected, managed to correct two people that have misgendered me. Both times, those poor, poor souls, they thought I was correcting them on the how to say my name. And I'm like, what part of my pronouns are they them? Understand. Where in any of that sentence is, this is how you say my name? Nowhere. It's nowhere there. And they still ask. Latham? Am I? No. Lathan. Like Nathan. Except with an L. That should not be so hard to pronounce. Uh, it probably also, like, it does. It probably doesn't help, like, for my social transition, the fact that I have yet to get the courage to actually use the men's restroom. Again, confrontation fear. There was one time, and I was very proud of myself, one time I actually went to the men's restroom, and that was at a Pride event. And I was lost because the women's restroom was, like, the line was so long, and I was like, nah. <laughs> so I was like, gonna go and so I was I was slightly nervous about that but I still managed to do it so I was really I was really I was proud of myself in that moment and when I finally managed to use the proper restroom for me in public that's not a unisex bathroom I'll I'll feel proud of myself then as well as you should too um, so it's been like three months for me on tea haven't really noticed a lot of changes at all except for like if you see an endocrinologist if you see like an endocrinologist or even Planned Parenthood um, and they talk to you about the changes that happen when you're on T um, one of them is uh, I believe one of them is, is click growth and that does happen so it's not I don't know I think it's supposed to grow more I, I haven't looked at the paperwork in a while. I'm just sort of, you know, seeing the changes as they come along and going, whoa, this is great. Yeah. Um, I haven't really noticed too much of, I guess, fat and muscle change yet. Um, but I am a. I, um, anyway, so in terms of like voice changes, hair, uh, I haven't noticed much. There were some times that I thought that my hair had changed, facial hair had changed, but then I realized I was wrong and that it wasn't the case. Yeah, I think I just had like a stain from coffee on my on my uh, upper lip, and so I was like, "Oh, I got," it. and I was like, "No, it's not. You just wash your face. <laughs> just wash your face, you heathen." 
so <laughs> there was that. Uh, voice dropping not really happened, at least not to my knowledge. I'm waiting. Here's the thing. I'm not. I'm not a nice person. While I don't like confrontation, I'm waiting for my voice to drop and for people to notice that it drops and then for them to ask why did your voice drop or or my favorite is going to be do, are you sick do you have a cold your voice is lower and i'll be like no you've just been using the wrong pronouns this entire time <laughs> and just the look on their face as they like feel so appalled and guilty and upset with themselves and then they'll you know as the most run chorus of people who realize that they've messed up is to apologize to the person they messed up to. And I will be, you know, left with the benevolent act of saying, it's okay, you didn't know any better. That probably is not going to happen, but again, I am not a nice person when it comes to that aspect. You know, you can say what you want, but if you're going to actively, you know, not make the effort to remember someone's pronouns, um and use them correctly, then I am not going to feel bad about your potential future guilt over mispronouncing, well, my name or my pronouns. So, but otherwise, you know, transition has been pretty good. It's been okay. Uh, I see my endocrinologist again in February sometime this month. I need to go in, in and get lab work done to see how the testosterone is interacting. Uh, with my body and bloodstream and everything to make sure those are okay and then I want to see the endocrinologist and she's gone through everything we'll figure out if I need more testosterone or less or to keep me where I am right now um, and uh, thankfully I see my therapist again next week next week next week I see them next week so I am looking forward to that um, I ended up not being able to see them. I was supposed to see them on Thursday, but I wasn't able to see them uh, because there were some issues with my insurance we had to figure out. So, but that's all done. That's all taken care of. We're all good on that. Um, so, that's done. If you're worried about starting testosterone, you know, don't hesitate to talk to an endocrinologist. Don't hesitate if you have a therapist, talk to them. If you don't have an endocrinologist, or therapist, don't hesitate to talk to someone from Planned Parenthood. I've heard a ton of good things about them and they are amazing, so please do not hesitate to reach out for help um, or, you know, to ask questions. It's okay. It's okay to have questions. It's okay to be scared. You know, it's okay to worry about things. Um, just do your best and you'll get there because you are amazing and wonderful and I'm super 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 proud of you for everything that you've been doing and I think this is the end of today's video thank you so much for watching um, if you did enjoy please hit the like and subscribe button if you have any questions about transitioning um, in terms you know any questions for me about transitioning I'll answer them the best that I can but I can't guarantee that I'll have all the answers um, I honestly might just use Google.